Yo, what is going on gamers? It is your boy Chris here, AK Chris at Gamer. Today guys, we're playing some Call of Duty Ghosts. If you guys have been here for a very long time, I used to play 1v1s back in the day in Ghost. I didn't really record them as much. Ghost was kind of a bad year for me. Um, I didn't really like post that many videos. I tried, but I always like ended up failing. So here today, we are going to be playing Call of Duty Ghosts. I granted the mess out of this game on Xbox One and also 360. So it's a little different for me just because of the fact that I never played it on PS4. You get hella frame rate. So let's try to see if we can do something here. It's probably going to either go my spawn. No way he's gonna let me do this. I don't know what homie just did. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I absolutely have no idea what homie was doing. He probably played all the way his back caution or something like that. I haven't played competitive in this game since this game was out. I actually do think I might have went back to this game sometime in Advanced Warfare. I, I think I went back, but either way, I haven't played comp in this game. It's been a very long time since I played some competitive matches. You guys like to see more ghosts just let me know it could be my spawn I just hope that we don't get frame rate I've already dealt with a lot of frame rate today oh he was behind me fudge so he actually did flank let's get back in the groove like I said before it's been a while since I've played so kind of forget how to play but once you play you should always know how to I mean, last time he did go ahead and play an A, so he might do so again. Either that or this time he's actually going to push through. I don't know, if I was him, I wouldn't plant there again. What is he doing? He's probably just standing there looking for me. Let's go, boys. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what he was doing. He must have just been camping in a corner or something like that waiting for me. I absolutely have no idea. But back in the day when I did used to play this game, I played tons and tons of 2Ks and 5Ks. I remember when I played against Curse Black, I'm pretty sure that team was Tipsy, Burns, and then somebody else. And we obviously lost to them. Um, but it was it was a little bit close. It wasn't too close in the Dom, but in the hard, um, I was about to say in the hard point, oh, I wish. But in the S&D, it was a little close. I remember dying to Burns, who was camping in that corner right there. And I just like I I started to flake the map, and then he was just like he happened to be right Last there, and I was like okay. Fudge this guy, dude. What the? Where did he just toss that smoke from? Hopefully he doesn't come from the steps. Yep, and he comes from the steps as soon as I look, dude. That absolutely sucks. It's sloppy, but I'm going to get back to it, boys. I'm going to get back into the groove, and then we're just going to start gunning people, man. I got to get used to playing. I obviously haven't been playing that much COD in general. haven't really been playing that much I-dubs. Just because who the hell plays I-dubs? 
see if this guy's gonna rush plant. Complete the mission, soldier. You're the only one left. No rush plant from him. Oh, oh. What the? F we lost that he killed me from the window. Wow, dude. I should have challenged him, dude. I'm getting bedangled on right now. Not gonna lose this. We're gonna. We're about to go dumb hard. Destroy the objective. Let's go. I think if I don't see him, I might kind of push his spawn right here. Last man standing, finish it. Hey, dude. I'm going for it. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm getting prone blocked. This is gonna suck if he comes from the right. Oh man, if he comes from the right, dude. I should hear him pick it up. I'm gonna act like he's not on the other side. Let's go. He didn't even check the spot. Come on, man. That was the most obvious spot ever. He's probably wondering, like, why would I ever even go there? The game's been out for way too long. But looking back at it, I still dislike this game, but this game was good for SMG. I played Respawn, obviously, like I just told you guys. Like, I was trying to go to events, almost went to Dallas, but uh, that whole Dallas story was pretty funny. So, we basically had a team, and we were on this organization, and they bought... A team pass for us right so one of the guys that was like basically the captain of the team or whatever you want to call it he knew the owner of the organization all right so let's see if we could kind of kill this guy right here i saw him let's go baby so basically he knew the owner of the organization he was like best friends with him in real life or whatever but dude this kid was garbage he was straight magunda it's so like the first week of us scrimming with this brand new team they're like all right we're gonna go to dallas we're gonna try to see what we can do homie was dropping like 5 and 20 12 and 20s and domination like he did not understand the concept of rotation of just rotating flags especially on strike zone so I was telling my duo, I was like, bro, there's no way that we're going to go to this event and do decent. We're probably going to get double first round. And I wasn't trying to have that as my first event. I was like, there's no way I'm going with this kid. So, like, let's see if we can drop him. So, we talked to the organization. And I, like, I took pictures and everything of when the kid would do bad and stuff like that. So, I told the org. And the org was like, all right, you know what? Like, we'll, we'll drop him. We'll, we'll drop this guy. You guys say he's not performing right. We'll drop him. So, I was like, dumb lit. All you got to do is look for one. We got a freaking, you know, team pass and all that stuff. Let's get it. I'm about to go to my first event. I wake up the next day and homie, like, I guess, talked to his friend or whatever. That was the owner of the, uh, like, you know, the organization. And he got us dropped. He got both of us dropped. It was insane. I was like, I cannot believe that. Dang, dude, I just got freaking melted. Holy fudge. Look at that, dude. That's some BS, man. But, yeah, he talked to his friend. And his friend ended up dropping us, me and my duo from the organization. And I was like, dude, I didn't want to go to an event with someone that was going to just be my gunda. But, I mean, obviously, when the guy was best friends with the owner, what can you do? You're obviously going to get dropped in that situation. And I remember I was so heated, I, like, made sure that I kept up on how that team did at the event. They got double first round in. I'm pretty sure they didn't even go to their first round. They, like, didn't know how to go to their first round matches. Like, it was absolutely insane. So, they basically got double first rounded. Pretty hilarious. Is homie just going to go to the plant? He hasn't planted B once. You gotta try to go B. I'm not really checking my corners and stuff like that, like I should be. If he's on his side, he 100% saw me. 
He's heated, dude. That's the second time he has it checked that man. I remember their tweet. They were like, we could have took the event if we wouldn't have got double first rounded. If, like, we wouldn't have got forfeited for not making our first round match. It's like, you would have won the event. What? So I obviously didn't get to go to an event. Back it goes. I went to my first event, UMG Orlando in Advanced Warfare. Terrible placing. And then I went to UMG Washington. Terrible placing. Uh, I'm not going to lie, in Orlando, I did pretty well. I did bad in the hard point, but as far as the uplink went, I did really, really well. I was basically the reason why we won. I hit all the points. It was comeback uplink, and if you guys have been here for a very long time, you guys know that I played nothing but, like, 1v1 SMD in, uh, in Advanced Warfare, as well as I also played 1v1 uh, uplink, and I was just, I was really, really good at it, so... Legit, when they gave me the ball, I was like, yo, just give me the ball. I won't miss a single score, and that's basically what I did. I did not miss one single shot, so that's how that worked out. Uh, it went to S&D. I dropped 10 kills. Oh, fuck. What the? Oh, I'm out of there. Woo! Let's go. But like I said, I dropped 10 kills in the SD. I think I went like 10 and 6 or something like that. And it obviously isn't the best score, so I'm not like hyping myself up or whatever. I felt like in the SD, I could have did a lot better. We played some good kids. If you guys remember, um, we played against someone named Mommy. He was a top AM back in the day. I'm pretty sure he plays like H1 competitive now. He doesn't even play Call of Duty like that. Uh, but he had a really good organization and. Um, yeah, we lost a hard point against them, beat them in the uplink, went to s and and we didn't win. I had two teammates that were dropping three kills and stuff like that. But, I mean, it, it's all good at the end of the day. I felt good with my, like, ability. And then the second event when I went to Washington, I just didn't really have good teammates. I didn't really do good at that event either. I was changing my sensitivity. I think I pulled a killer, and I just, like, fudged myself over. So, hopefully, in World War II, I'll see what's going on, see if Respawn's cool in that game. And if I enjoy it, you guys might see me at another event i was getting bedangled on in this match but i mean i don't even care man we still was able to get the dub homie was three and one it's a gb who gives a fudge so hope you guys did enjoy like i said before i can't wait till world war ii i'm excited to see what respawn has in store for us we already know hard points gonna be in there snd is gonna be in there we're just wondering about that third game mode because sledgehammer says they're gonna try to make something like uplink but on the ground and that makes me think of blitz i know a ton of people hate blitz in this game, I'm not gonna lie, like, as me that used to play, like, Respawn and stuff like that, it was pretty terrible, but as far as, like, a viewer standpoint, and there were certain games where, like, it was absolutely the best game mode, it was so much action and things of that nature, so if they could try to recreate it in this game and make it something along those lines, then I would imagine Uplink uh, is gonna be actually really, really good. The way how I think they're gonna do it is you have the ball, you pick up the ball, and you run it into the portal, basically, like, Blitz, and then, like, I guess you could, like, throw it in there, I don't know, something like that and throwing it in there would be a one running it in there would be a two so if they do something like that it'll be similar to blitz and i think that'll be absolutely cool let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about some ghosts if you guys want to see more ghosts leave a like also thank you for all the support lately and i'm super excited for world war ii i will be streaming and uploading content from the beta so stay tuned for that and i shall see y'all next time peace out